Hello Gorika, have you got any questions today? Yes. Okay, so dear viewers, we are back with Gorika's three questions. And let us see what questions she asks today. So what is your first question? Why we have given names to breakfast, dinner, lunch? What you want to know is why we have given the names breakfast, lunch and dinner to three meals right the yeah. three meals that we take in a day so why do we take uh, meals in a day to remain healthy to get nourishment right and also because we feel hungry now what happens is we have to have a special timing for all the three meals and we have to give name to each and every timing so Breakfast means breaking the fast. And what is fast? When you don't take any meals, when you stay without food. That is known as fast. Okay? It is just a way of saying that you are eating after a long night of sleep. When your tummy was empty. So it is your first meal of the day. Right? Now let us come to lunch. So lunch is what we eat during the middle of the day or so around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And generally why do we get hungry by then? Although we have had a good breakfast, we become hungry because children go to school, they study over there and also play over there. When they play over there, all the food which they ate in the breakfast gets digested. And then we eat food again in school. Absolutely. Or maybe you can call it refreshment. And when you come to home after school say around one o'clock or two o'clock that is when you will have your proper lunch then it is time for dinner dinner is the last food of the day which you generally have before bedtime and this will keep your tummy happy right yes. and, <laughs> and so throughout the night you will uh, you will sleep uh, happily and when you get up Again, after a long night, you will have breakfast again the next morning. Okay. And next afternoon, uh -huh. we will have lunch again, uh -huh. dinner. Uh -huh. Good. So, we will go, uh -huh. we'll go to your second question. So, what is second question? What is solar system? Uh -huh. So, solar system, it is like a big family in the space, you know. This big, almost bigger than your house. Oh, much, much bigger than our house. Okay. It is, it is a huge, huge. We cannot... Then it is more bigger than Earth. Oh, Earth is part of the solar system. It is just one member of the solar family. Okay. So... So all the planets are a part of the solar system. Yes. So, first of all, in the middle, there is sun. It is like the bright warm parent. It is like a parent. Is it a star? Yes, uh, sun is a star. Is it a burning hot star? Absolutely, yes, you are right. You are so bright. Hmm? So, uh, it is also the father of the uh, this family, this solar system family. Okay? Because, Why no mother? Uh, the mother is the solar system. Uh, sun, sun... <laughs> <laughs> you are right. So, son is both mother and father. Okay? It is it is a joint parent. Okay. So, okay. half is father, half is mother. Absolutely right. So, then around the, uh, around the son or the father, the planets, like children, they are surrounding it. So, there is Earth, there is Mars, there is Jupiter and other planets. Hmm? which go round and round and round the sun. So, uh, those uh, like children, the planets revolve around the sun, go around the sun. Earth is also one of the planets and it is part of the solar family. But there are other smaller children, you know, like moons, asteroids. Some of them are very naughty. They don't uh, revolve around the sun forever. They go away or fall away. So, the solar system is our giant family what is nature use this word nature for the entire earth 
beauty animals its uh, forests rivers hmm? clouds rains everything is part of the nature so there are mountains and everything that uh, you see around you which is uh, which is not made by man although man is also part of the nature human beings are also part of the nature oh yes very much and that is why you are so intelligent and so beautiful and so this uh, we call nature as a huge 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 mm. uh, beautiful playground which has got colors sounds people and lots of surprises why, why do we call surprises because sometimes you go you are going to a hilly area and at the next corner you will see waterfall coming down hmm? which you never expected you know like that so sometimes you are going uh, to another place in the hills or mountains there will be springs coming out over there so there are all surprises yes you want to say something yeah i want to tell you something huh. one day i went to kerala huh. and then the plant was there but it was there and waterfall i didn't also expect Achha. that so you saw tea plants or tea estate and waterfall over there and yes. you liked it yes i didn't know it uh, good good so today's three questions are done and let us say goodbye to our viewers viewers, viewers thanks, thanks for, for being with, with us. us we will we'll come, come again bye bye with our three questions Now, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.